recording. The search committee for new full time administrator for town of Waitley. Uh, we're today looking at the job description. Uh, have a draft that was circulated. Uh, you don't have any comments. I've got a couple. Okay. Um, just my my first thing is I know I don't know how big of an issue it is, but I know this this was dated two thousand nine, so it's an older right. job description. But I know that town voted at some point to call the board of selectmen the select board. Yep. Mm -hmm. So. I think we all have that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of spots. I started highlighting it. I said, no, but highlight it. Yeah, I, I, I already mentioned this to Brian, but I think we're going to get it to Jess to make the change. Okay, make the back particular change. Okay. And then the only, um, again, with just starting it, and you can go through each yeah. one of them, do it. Then. Um, so this this has the responsibilities to supervising employees, municipal secretary, custodian, clerical staff, and I just added town boards or committees because it's kind of this responsibility thing for her. So, so I did also have a couple um, yeah. suggestions there. So uh, the town administrator is responsible for managing and supervising town employees, including the assistant town administrator. And slash community development position. That's yeah, not a yeah. municipal secretary is now the administrative assistant position. Mm -hmm. My understanding is the building custodian is actually supervised by the highway superintendent. I don't think mm -hmm. Brian supervises our custodian position. My, I thought he falls under the highway department. Was, that, was he hired through the transfer station? No. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, the building custodian is. Um, it's part of the highway department. Yeah, because I think highway department is now also superintendent of building. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so I think the, it, there's it, a few changes there. Yeah. Okay. So yes, yeah, so the mm -hmm. building custodian come out. Yeah. And Sylvie's position would go in, and yeah. then the update to the municipal secretary, which is really the ad administrative assistant position. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, go ahead, Jim. Just no, that was the just the I didn't know if that was his responsibility or not. Oh, yeah, to manage the, the boards and committees that, that should be added as well. Uh, I, I don't know that I would add that only because planning and zoning don't really fall on it because they're yeah. quasi judicial, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't think a broad, yeah, committees and boards okay. would work. Yeah, I know it just became an issue last year. I think it was brought up about who oversees who for whom. Um, yeah, I think some of that would fall under a town manager position instead of yeah. a town administrator yeah. position. Um, but I, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think he has too much say. The, the position has, right. doesn't have too much say yeah. on the boards and certain boards and committees. Yeah, um, except insofar as many of them are appointed by the select board. And yeah. Position is responsible to select board for oversight in that way, but that yeah. just, you can't broad brush it with yeah. boards and commissions. Yeah, um, I do have under essential duties and responsibilities the second bullet set agendas for the meeting of the well, which will select be the board. select board. But he also um, the position also does it for the finance committee and the personnel um, agendas are created well, and I'm not sure if this is going to stay the same. But those are two other agendas that the um, town administrator position would prepare. So I don't know. Is that covered under further down serves the staff for finance committee personnel committee? Could, yep. But the yep. that that would. Serves as staff and it's like so. Yep, that could cover it. Yep. Okay. Um, Is, are the minutes also ahead and it's also the responsibility of the Town administrator, or is that the administrator? Assistance. Well, the word keeps minutes. I think it's more or less just the retention of the minutes, okay. not preparing them. Well, the administrative well, administrative assistant position prepares them, but but sitting in the well, meeting, keeping minutes of the meeting. 
I think so it means nice. keeps retention wise. Right. So okay. Right. Uh, it doesn't say records. Yeah. Um, and this would you know this would be for the administrator. The administrator can assign to an assistant that we may have. Delegate can delegate these things. You know, <laughs> preparing minutes could would likely fall under that. I didn't really have anything else besides mm -hmm. a few changes on the first page. I felt like everything else was pretty. Um, yeah, I think everything else is is pretty good, and especially the disclaimer at the end, summary of duties listed above, or illustrations of various types of work. So yeah. anything, anything else can be brought in that yeah. required. Uh, the only other really picky thing is in tools and equipment use, I would get rid of fax machine and type reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does that have to yeah. fax anything? I still have to fax stuff. I still have to fax things. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to at least get rid of type. Are we getting rid of both the fax machine? I think we can get rid of both. Okay. Quite easily. Yeah. I, think. I would think that's modernized. That's a remnant of the 2009 revision. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I felt that everything else really, um, yeah, I think that everything else is fine. And if, it, you know, if anything isn't specifically covered, it's covered under the umbrella of these are the only, these aren't the only things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not a, it's not a detailed list. Like any, any mm -hmm. job description, it's not a detailed list. Every single thing you have to do. Sure. Does he have a contract mm -hmm. at this point? So I'm yeah. sure that more stuff would be out in the contract as yeah. specific responsibilities. So my my guess is yeah, I, I didn't look at the contract in the <laughs> last year, but my guess is that this description is pretty well just incorporated into the, into the contract. Yeah. I don't think there was a second, any second document a job description. So. Uh, I don't know if this is. It's probably outside our purview. Um, you mentioned something about town, town manager. Is that something that's ever been considered? Not the, that I'm not worried. Not that I'm worried. Okay. Town manager as opposed to town administrator. Because it kind of, if you look at what Brian's been doing, from that perspective, mm -hmm. it's like interesting. Preparing the budget, giving it to the finance committee, it's like, okay, or whatever issues there are there uh, as far as finance committee and preparing the budget, the extra work that he has to do. It's, it seems like to me that we're kind of getting to a, a point where it's not just mm -hmm. kind of a time, time administrator, just meet with the committee, it's the town manager, somebody that runs the, the day to day, somebody that can make decisions. I mean, there, there's, there's a fine basically. distinction between town manager and town manager. Oh, there is. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's not <laughs> glaringly obvious what the difference would be. And certainly at this point where we're transitioning, we can look at it later, but I don't think it would make any real difference in the job. Essentially, the job Ryan's been doing Full full time town administrative well, yeah, manager, yeah. whatever you want to call. But I think it would give other other opportunities to deal with certain things that we rely on fifty million committees to do. He could he or she or it could make those some of those decisions. Fifty million committees do stuff manage manage that stuff, make decisions. I along with the select. I don't think you can get the finance committee to go along with creating a new position. Uh, awesome. so well, the well, yeah, but the, yeah. Uh, I think that's I, something we're going to try. I just don't think we're a big enough town. Certainly, we don't need two different positions, you know, administrator and a manager. No. I just wanted to be a, yeah. Uh, 
and percentage, as I say, that's the job the administrator is doing now. I don't, uh, I don't know that you know, Brian's never expressed any concern about you know being hamstrung making decisions. Yeah, I think it's something to look into and for the future mm -hmm. that I think mm -hmm. move on changing our town administrator position to a town manager position would be beneficial, mostly as being a department head. And mm -hmm. I feel that the town manager position has more authority over departments to either disciplinary or mm -hmm. suggestions or changes. Mm -hmm. I feel like they can, in that, in a town manager position, they have the ability to do that. But I don't know more about what the differences are besides, I think, that they would have more, more um, like personnel yeah. control, yeah. I guess. Um, and that's kind of the way I was looking, just from the perspective of all of the different committees having to wait to have a meeting with this committee before a decision can be made. I don't know what, to, you know, if there's any issues. Or if it's super smooth, but I, I, I haven't seen a you know, real problem with that. Mm -hmm. On most things that, you know, as far as Brian not having the authority or discretion to deal with the problems, the, the things that go to committee tend to be more policy rather than short term uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, something is going personnel committees talking about long term personnel issues now. There's new yeah. that don't deal with discipline. Or, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Individual personnel problems. Uh, we've got enough else on our plate right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, as long as, I just want to raise it because I didn't know what it was no, it's, for us. Or it's, I'll, I'll keep to the back of my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly look at it. So, so, we, yeah. yeah, no. So we're good with this. You want to work with. Yes, on the chat, you can do the changes. Yep. Um, I was in the meeting yesterday with Trish. He's put mm -hmm. in the interim jobs with Lynn. Yeah. And she has done this many times before. So she will be really good in, yeah. in doing the posting and Great. advertising. Uh, she's starting next Tuesday. Okay. So I think. Uh, we can talk to Brian and see if he want to post it or you know, wait a week and yep. do that. Uh, the only consideration there is that Trish said she is out on June 30th. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, dead stop. Yeah. yeah. Not working beyond that. So my only suggestion is I think that in the job posting, a salary range should be listed. I really feel strongly about that. I feel that look uh, any applicant looking or any anyone looking for a job right now, I feel like it's really important to, for them to have an idea of where the pay could begin and where it could end. Um, and I feel like it will really um, be beneficial to our like, candidate pool too. Mm -hmm. So we're not, yeah. you know, where, what the select board feels about were, are they, is this an entry level or are we going to start somewhere else? Um, I can yeah. provide you guys with either salaries also of our of our current department heads, if that makes a difference at all in making a decision there. But I think what we may have to do is do a, just a brief look around at other yeah. towns and mm -hmm. see what they're paying. And you know, it's all going to depend on the individual town. Yeah, the experience of the person, and yeah, but well, you already have a starting point. Yeah. I mean, do you want to bring somebody in starting at Brian's salary? I mean, I imagine it would be a contract negotiation if they know that this is if they're looking for a hundred and twenty thousand job, maybe not enough. Money. Yeah. If they send this range, then yeah, because they're going to negotiate it anyway. I think that our top end has to be what Brian's making. I don't think we're going to be looking for someone with, you know, or no one's going to be looking here who has a lot more experience than Brian mm -hmm. has, and certainly not the experience in the town. So I think that would be the top end. So it's just a question of what is a reasonable bottom end of that right. range. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think that was your I'm trying to remember what 
probably the numbers, 87, 88, I think. Yeah, I think, I thought he maybe was in the, the high 80s. Yeah. Um, and also, like, I know that um, we have other department heads, because my concern is, well, this is my opinion. Yeah. I think that um, our town administrator should, position should probably be picked the higher, highest paid town employee yeah. under the town offices. Um, as as so, far as base salary. As yeah. far as base salary. So exactly, Fred. And I think that one of our highest paid department heads is around $85,000. So just keeping that in mind for any future conversation, I'm pretty sure that it's around 85 is that position. But I, I have a feeling that whoever we bring in will likely be at the top of the room looking for whatever Brian's making now anyway. Okay. So, yeah. so you know, if we put a lower bottom range, it, it would just be to sort of frame the position. I don't think that we reasonably, right. you know, that, that might pull in someone with less experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then do we want that person? That's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the people in the door to right. assess whether or not. Right. So do you think, Fred, that a salary range is something that we could come up with in the next week? Like, how soon would you like to see this posted? Well, that's that's a question. I, okay. Let's talk to Brian and see whether he wants to be the one to do the posting. Okay. Or leave it for Trish. Okay. To do. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I. <clears throat> The bottom of the range, we can pick a number here for now. I mean, we, mm -hmm. we, it's not going to be 50. Right. You know, it's not going to be 86 to 87. So it's going to be, you know, 75 or 77.5 to whatever Brian's making. So I, I don't think that that bottom number is something we have to study terribly hard. To well, it's already been studied. Yeah. I mean, you look at the salary survey, mm -hmm. and I think that. We include town administrators in that salary survey. We do, yes, yeah. Yeah, so it's already in there, <laughs> and I think in the seventies, I think that would be way, way lower than what the the median is for the towns that we compare to, anyways. I just feel uncomfortable paying our water superintendent position eighty five thousand and having our town administrator make less. That's a that's something to me where I feel like the town administrator position is really important. Um. So that's kind of my view on it is that I talk, I I just feel more comfortable. The, the only thing with the water commission in particular is that that's sort of you know semi autonomous that uh, you know the, the water people set their own mm -hmm. rates and their own salaries. Yeah, you know, to base it's not out of the town general budget. Yeah. I even think our um the highway superintendent position is maybe up in the high seventies, low eighties also. Um so just to keep that in mind too. But I, I I really whatever you guys think it could be a range from I think all the all the positions are in the, the low to high eighties. Yeah. All the, I, like the police what, team, the, uh, why don't we just the highway I, superintendent the, well as far as department heads yeah, I am in a park. Let's double, check, am. double okay. check what Brian's current number is. It's, mm -hmm. it really, it's somewhere in the high 80s. Okay. Find the exact number okay. and just put you know 80 to whatever that is. Okay. Yeah. As in, though, if you you know if you want to range, yeah. we'll call back the range. Yeah. Because it can be negotiated. Basically. Right. And Experience. it's going to be negotiated no matter. Right. No matter what. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is just you know, as a guideline. Because you get the people yeah, that are expecting a, over a hundred thousand dollars a year salary. I, I just don't think we we need to overthink this or take right. take time worrying about it. Okay, so I will check with Brian to get his exact salary number. Mm. Um, would you like me to also check with him on if he would like it on his plate or if we should wait for Trish to? Uh, well, I'll I'll do that. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk that. Okay, I'll talk to Jessica about uh, making the appropriate edits to the job description. And then making sure to change the date of the, the last date revision. <laughs> date of last revision. And where do we go from here? Do we meet again? Do we just kind of let it? Uh, I think that our assuming that this 
that we're good with this. This will go out. We'll get resumes back. Our job will be to screen the resumes and give the select board you know, two, three, four, however many. Um, but then the select board will do the interviews and public session. Okay. So at the on the bottom of the job description, please submit a cover letter and resume to the admin assist at weightlift.org by, yeah. which is normally a date. Yeah. So that, that that's going to be based on when the posting gets made. So would it yeah. so it's the end of February now. Do you think that it's appropriate now to set this date or would you like to wait? Uh let's get the input from okay. Brian or Trish. Okay. Trish has done this before. Okay. And then and knows what a reasonable time frame is. My Perfect. guess it would be 30 days after the posting. Okay. Sounds reasonable, but that I haven't done it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so our next meeting will be hopefully we'll have several resumes. We can go through them and do I know there's other there's been other searches for other positions, town administrators, yeah. whatever other position. And having a review committee mm -hmm. um is that part of what we do at reviewing the the uh, resumes or are we gonna do interviews like pre-interviews i, th I think that our job is just to screen the resumes and because i i think that by state laws i think the interviewing has to be done by the hiring authority which is the select board they will right essentially but i like, you know a lot of times there's a the pre-interview and then if you make it through that then you go to the the final interview which would be with the select board I just uh, I'm not anticipating that again. Uh, that will be on Trisha's watch, and we can go through with her as a, she has ample experience in this. Having been town administrator for ten whatever plus years. Yeah, I mean resumes are resumes, resumes are right. whatever you want to create. Yeah, yeah. But sitting down with somebody gives right. you a completely different perspective than just written. yeah, but. Uh, uh, you can get at least an idea of you know, this. Are they qualified? Just, are, are they qualified? Really, okay. that that's what our screen is. It's, are they qualified? And if we get a load of qualified, then we can narrow it down. Uh, uh, and we just got the two resumes for the uh, interim job. Yeah. And Trish was so obviously overqualified. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> for yeah. it, but uh, it's not a tough thing. Yeah, and she's also no. So well, I'll tell just on, on every between the amount of yeah. experience yeah. and her experience with the town and her having worked with Linda, I mean, just I couldn't have drawn up a better, a more perfect resume if I sat down to, yeah. to do it. You know? Okay, so yeah, I, I will talk to Brian as to whether we should. Be posting with you know, posting essentially this week, or okay. <clears throat> and you'll let us know about um, and then we'll uh, Jim and I you'll let us know about the buy date just so we have an idea because then we'll right, maybe right. Bring, yeah, okay. that, and that, yeah, and that's going to depend on when we post, yeah. Uh, and so you can <laughs> work with Jess on that, have yeah. to do the revisions, run it past you for okay, just to make sure you. She got everything. Okay. Insure versus like insure. Insurance and direct budget processing for all departments. Insuring the yes should be. Should be. Yeah. Okay. I figured Brad would pick up all the typos. <laughs> no, no, I'm answering that all deadline. Yeah. We'll, we'll I did that pick too. up the typos. That's all. <laughs> yeah. If we're putting out a, some sort of posting. Right. Sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is meeting is the meeting motion for a meeting to adjourn? That motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. Thank you.